I mean, that she was, that she had her own. Yeah. You cannot replicate them in, in, in mass volumes. But there is where the appreciation is. That's where we're what we're trying to build. You have to be able to appreciate these products for their limited quantities, for the way they are they are produced. Um, this jacket, for example, even if you had, you asked to produce 20 of them, they, it would never come out exactly the same. Because when, when, you, when you talk about artisanal products, they bring heart, they bring their culture into the work that they do. Well, for one, I, I try to buy gifts that are locally made and also unique. Because, I mean, it's fairly easy to buy generic stuff in malls. But to find unique items that you can give to family and friends, you have to go a little bit further or venture a little out more. And this gives me an opportunity to do it in one place. So it's very convenient. Thank you. I just wanted to see how local crafts are going these days um, and I'm quite impressed with what we have now um, a lot of very you know using Filipino material but modern things that you could really use you know what I mean it, it's not like before where it's like oh there's a jeepney and carved in wood I mean these are like real things that you can use in a modern house you know that has that Filipino flair
as a designer, my, my tools are really not a sketchbook or a pencil. It, for me, it's really a conscious effort in thinking and finding out different communities who can participate in any collection that I make. So it's really a conscious effort that when I design something, I really count who's going to be in that product. I think this is the best time to really celebrate who we are as Filipinos. Um, I think there's already a mindset of, you know, uh, uh, supporting local because there's nobody else who will support us but us.